Choke no joke, I'm in the building, y'all. You know what it is. I'm outside trying to keep it consistent. Get my walk on, my workout on. I got caught bad in the rain yesterday. For all y'all that was watching, I got soaked in the rain. Hello. Y'all see what they got going on right here, right? Y'all see that, right? What y'all know about that? What y'all know about that course? Y'all don't know nothing about that course. Y'all don't know nothing about that. I'm going to teach y'all something about that. Malik Smiggity, my main Miggity. Number one Jigger fan in the building. All right. Choke no joke. We outside, baby. Y'all know how we do. Come sit on the swing with a fella. Ladies, you know what I mean? Have a little uh, date in the park. You know how you do. You know what I mean? We out here to walk off these calories that we ate yesterday, this morning. We hit some push ups. Getting ready for this show. Make sure y'all come out Thursday, 7 p.m. We got one show, you know what I mean, at the uh, Atlanta Comedy Theater, Choke No Joke, Phase on Love, some special guests. My man Headcrack going to come through and host, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know me, I share the love. I share the love. I got my man Headcrack to host. Hey, Headcrack going to be hosting on the Friday night show, both shows, all right? So everybody out there that like my man Headcrack or you watch Dish Nation, you know what I mean? Or y'all know him from the uh, uh, the Morning Hustle, the radio show he used to be on. Headcrack will be in the building hosting. Uh on uh friday so come on out come out and support i've been working on my new routine for the last few days trying to get that down packed i think i'm gonna do for friday and saturday i think i'm gonna do my I don't give a F show and then my new show. For one show I'll do I don't give a F and then the other one I'll do my new one. I might do that Friday and Saturday just to test it out in Atlanta. Since everybody said, you better not do that in Atlanta, Joe. You can't do no gay jokes in Atlanta, Joe. I don't give a F. But uh, so I want to get into these current events. First thing I want to get into is 50 Cent uh, humor and harmony weekend down in uh, Shreveport, Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, if you just look at that title alone. Humor and harmony. Meaning we don't want no beef. I don't want no smoke. I'm just trying to make people laugh and and, and enjoy themselves, right? But I think one person didn't get that message. My boy, Hurricane Chris. Now, I think I produced the show with Hurricane Chris before. I don't know whether it was BET Now, Rap City, or I'm not sure, but I, I feel like I know I, I worked with him 
on something for BET before. And I remember him being a good guy, good dude. Not saying that this doesn't make him a good guy, but I just remember him just being a good guy. Um, you know what? I think I booked him in, in Virginia for a show at Hampton University. I think that's what it is too. It might be that, him and Rich Boy. Um, but, uh, the brother, young, young, young brother, Hurricane Chris, right? He got on the internet and started blasting, uh, 50 Cent for, uh, you know, coming to Shreveport and having that, uh, Humor and Harmony Weekend. And not only that, him building a studio in Shreveport and stuff. And he felt like 50 came to their city and he didn't and, uh, and bring out no Louisiana artists in his city. Whether it was from Shreveport, Baton Rouge, Louisiana period, whatever parish. It is. Shout out to all the parishes out there in Louisiana. Right? But um, for those who don't know, Louisiana is made up of parishes. Like New York is made up of boroughs, five boroughs. Louisiana is made up of parishes. Look it up if you're not educated on that. All right? That's what happens when y'all don't travel. Right? So uh, Hurricane Chris, you know, he goes on this rant about how 50 came to the city and he just using his city because the land is cheap and the property is cheap. Uh, duh. <laughs> Where he supposed to go build a studio in New York or California? Atlanta, Tyler Perry's his, that's a too much competition. So he's supposed to go somewhere where the, uh, the property is cheap, Hurricane Chris. Come on, brother. That was ignorant. Right now, the other part of your rant that makes you sound ignorant is he's bringing jobs to your city. You think people from New York is going to pack up and move and leave to just go get a job down in Shreveport, Louisiana? You know how many people are you know how many people already made money? from him building the studios down there. Where do you, where do you think these people were again, where, like, you think people coming from at, from New York to, to build this studio? He's creating jobs for you, brother. He's creating jobs for you, brother. You know, you're not even looking at it in a, in a mature way. You worried about a rap check? Why, why would he bring Louisiana local artists out in Louisiana. They see y'all all the time, brother. Y'all do all the little local spots. Y'all grow up there. Y'all grew up there. Y'all, everybody know y'all there. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's more beneficial to the people that, in the city that don't see the, the local artists. You, you, thinking, you thinking like a nigga. You're not thinking like a black man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just very small-minded thinking, Hurry, Hurricane Chris, right? Oh, he didn't bring out nobody on the show from the city. So what? What you go? They they got the uh, one music fest here in Atlanta this weekend. Ain't no Atlanta artists on there. Not that I can think of off the top of the head. Because we see them all the time. Any little thing pop up, they there. Any concert that come through the town, they bringing them out on stage as featured guests. You know what I'm saying? Like, brother, you, th you think it's small-minded, brother. This man building a whole studio. Right? In your city. Do you understand how many jobs that is for your city? Black jobs? Who you think he gonna employ? 